First we have instruction manuals. Here are screws and other mounting hardware. We've got a charger and a cable for charging your batteries. The crane comes with two sets of batteries. Here's the base handle. You put the batteries in here. And then here are the motors and the mounting plate, the top of the crane, and that's everything that comes with the crane. This is the crane, the gimbal stabilizer for DSLR and mirrorless cameras. It supports cameras weighing between 350 and 1800 grams. As you can see here, I'm using it with the Sony a6300 with an 18 to 105 lens. But if your camera and lens combo weighs between 350 and 1800 grams, then the crane will support it. Right now, we're gonna go over what you need to know to get started using the crane. First, we need to take the included batteries and place them into the handle of the crane and screw the handle securely to the body of the crane. Now we're going to take the camera that I have, the A6300, and mount it to the crane. Take the included screw and screw the crane in right here. And now we need to make sure that the gimbal is balanced properly. If your camera is flopping to one side or tilting, then you need to balance it and shift the weight to the other side. Once the gimbal and camera is not moving on its own or tilting or flopping to one side, then you know it's balanced. As you can see here, it stays perfectly still on its own, so we know that the camera is balanced and ready to turn on. To turn on the gimbal, simply press the power button here on the side and hold it until you feel the motors turn on. Now, the gimbal's ready to use. Now there's a few different modes that you can use with the crane. The default mode is the pan following mode. This means that once you power on the gimbal, you can pan left and right, but you can't tilt up and down. Those motors will stay locked and keep the camera horizontal and locked. The next mode is called locking mode. Single press the joystick, and now neither the tilt motors or the pan motors will allow the camera to move. The third mode is called the pan tilt following mode. It's more of a freestyle mode. To access this mode, double click the joystick, and now you can tilt down, tilt up, and pan left and right, and the gimbal will allow the camera to move up and down left and right smoothly. To go back to the previous mode, simply single press the joystick. Now we're back in locking mode. See, I can't tilt up or down or pan left and right. Single press again, and we're now back in the pan following mode. Panning left and right, but locked for up and down. If you need to get more low angle shots, each of these different modes can also be used upside down. Simply flip the handle out the side, and now you can use the gimbal inverted to get more low angle shots. Now in each of these modes, you can also use the joystick to either pitch or tilt the camera up and down. You can also move the camera and the gimbal in the same way wirelessly through the app. A nice feature at the base of the gimbal is a quarter inch tripod mount, so you can mount it to a tripod or other accessories. And that is all you need to know to get started using the crane.